Welcome back to America East on campus here at Sefcu Arena in Albany, site of the 2009 Men's Championship. And really, no one can predict what's going to happen at the America East Championship. It should be a wide open tournament, but there are a group of players, a lot of players, who can turn the tide either way. So many new faces around America East this year made big contributions, whether they were transfers from other schools or freshmen. Here's a look at some of those key players who could be impact players at the America East Championship. They are either players who were in prep school or high school a year ago. Free pass. Oh, man. Slam home by Dallas Joyner. How about Dallas had his defender on his back. And or players who transferred from other colleges looking for a fresh start in America East. A long three-point try that finds its way home. Either way, it takes time to find the right mix of old and new. This team is like a giant piece of clay, and we're trying to mold it on a daily basis. And, you know, one of, the, one of the things that I'm not as a head coach is I'm not very patient, so this team has really t uh, tested my patience level. Um, I'm trying to grow as a coach with this group. Been frustrating at times, rewarding at times. Binghamton and Stony Brook have 15 new players combined when you compare last year's roster to this year's, but went about it in different ways. For the Bearcats, they've shot to the upper half of the standings using players like DJ Rivera, Tiki Maben, and Malik Alvin, transfers who've stepped in to lead the team. We're putting together a string of wins. We've, we've played well in stretches, you know, and we've had our share of, of, of bad outings too now, um, and we're aware of it. You know, we've been thumped, and we're just trying to figure out how to keep playing together, playing off our strengths, and uh, defending guys. That, that's the big thing. They know it's, it's not about themselves. When we win, we win as a team. You know, when we lose, we lose as a team. It's no individuals just taking the win and they're saying one individual has won the game. So the egos have been left at the door. Stony Brook went young for the most part. Their top scorer, Mohamed El Amin, is a junior college transfer. But four freshmen, including top rebounder Tommy Brenton, stepped in to lead the Sea Wolves to the biggest turnaround in the conference this year. Our camaraderie's better, our chemistry's better. Um, you know, I just want our team to, you know, stay healthy and keep on improving because they improve every day and they come to work every day. And, and I'm most pleased with that kind of attitude um, that we found in, in, in this team this year. A front runner for the Rookie of the Year award in America East is Boston University's Jake O'Brien, who's played big minutes and has emerged as the team's third scoring option and could be the third straight America East Rookie of the Year award winner from BU. It's O'Brien, is this the knockout for BU? It could be. Whether it's Garvey Young at Vermont, Gerald McLemore at Maine, Chauncey Gilliam at UMBC, many freshmen have played big minutes so far this season. Albany has used a blend of freshmen like Anthony Rafa at point guard and transfers like Will Harris, who came to Albany from Virginia and was able to play right away after being granted a family hardship waiver. The new faces have contributed to the overall improvement of play around the league. Now the question is, will one lead his team to an America East championship? <laughs> Best of you is next. A Katsopoulos excels on the court and in the classroom. Anything else would be unacceptable. I'm a little harder on myself than I think I should be but that's, I gotta get better. 